guys, before I go to my fucking training session tonight, <laughs> I just want to know why no one told me, shut up, there was a Ratchet & Clank fucking video game coming out. I need way more promotion from Sony so I can go get this shit day one. Like, Sony, you pay all this money for these other fucking bullshit game commercials, and then you don't, you don't promote... One of the, like, biggest startups in, the, in your fucking, like, company. Come on, bro. We, y'all, I need y'all to do better. Like, stop that shit. There are Ratchet and Clank fans out here. Just like there are Sly Cooper fans out here. Just like there are Jack and Dexter fans out here. So I need you. I need you to get your shit together so I can spend money on games that I actually fucking want. Alright, alright, cool. So now that I know that there's a fucking trailer out and it's gameplay, we're gonna react to this shit. That allows it to Yeah, okay. Alright, so the world looks like they stayed with the... What the fuck kind of fish? Alright then. Okay, I like this already from the jump. It's still very cartoony. There's nothing super realistic about it. It's a very colorful world. And it looks like they still have ridiculous weapons. <laughs> like, this shit looks awesome. Like, I'm glad that they aren't, like, trying to make this game fucking hyper-realistic. Oh, shit. Look at the fucking flames! I think this game... I think Ratchet & Clank has grown very well over the years. Like... I think it's really hard to fuck up. Oh shit! They get pixelated. That's sick. I wouldn't mind that weapon in real life. That's that's kind of fucking dope. Look at that. What the what the hell's a Groove Baton? Wow, you look at that. Hey, get it, but get it, get it. Hey. Oh shit, fuck him up. That's one fat ass squid. I like this though. I like this already. The gameplay seems the same. It doesn't look like they tried to really... Oh boy, I don't even want to say change, because change is a bad word, but like, this looks like what I would expect a Ratchet & Clank game to look like. Very cartoony, fun, you know. I w I'm definitely going to buy this and get it and play it with my siblings. Like, this is, this is dope. I like this shit. Look at these motherfuckers! Oh my god! The Groove is drunk! I, I'm probably going to abuse that game. Oh, get it, y'all motherfuckers, looking like a magic carp. Homie in the corner, getting it. Pop a lock, it's up. Okay, this is definitely a step up from the underwater level that we've seen in previous games. Look at the little seaweeds, and yeah, a whole little world down here. Fish just chilling, he ain't gonna eat you? He ain't gonna try? Okay, I like this, though. Destroy the Galactic Ranger, or I'll... Yo, this game... This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, like, just to play around and just to have a good time. I think games nowadays are just a little too fucking serious. Everybody trying to be the best, like, like, try, not only going to say the best, but trying to be one-up each other in graphics, and then, like, a lot of the story or, like, just genuine fun of the game is ruined. Is that it? Holy shit, that's it. All right. Okay, I'm sure you can tell that I'm super fucking pumped for this game. This is one of my games from, like, my childhood as a series that I just loved, and I kind of grew up with the Ratchet & Clank series, and just like, like, you know, like, I've been waiting for, like, a reboot of some of my favorite games, not for them to go and change it completely, but just to introduce it to, a, to the next generation, because I think these games have a lot to offer kids, and, and show you that everything doesn't have to be so fucking serious or graphically, like, in, like, I don't even want to say impressive, because the game is clean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's just not like, like, I, like, it's a cartoon world, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I think that nowadays, a lot of gamers just get too caught up in the realism instead of just, like, enjoying a video game. Don't get me wrong. I love my graphics, but I can also appreciate a game like Ratchet & Clank where it's just fucking goofy, colorful world. You just run around as an anamorphic creature, and you have a good fucking time, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get this game. It's not a question of it. Like, just like I'm pumped for the Sly Cooper game that's supposed to be coming out, I, but, like, the issue here, like, with Ratchet & Clank, what's the release date? I'm gonna have to go Google that because I wanna know. Um, you know, Ratchet & Clank gonna buy it day one. I, if they fuck it up with the bugs, I'm gonna have a problem. I can tell you right now, so I'm hoping that's not what's gonna happen. I'm pumped for this game. I want this game, and I need to add it to my Ratchet & Clank collection. Are you excited for this game? If so, which Ratchet & Clank game was your favorite growing up? Mine? My two were probably the first one in Deadlock. Deadlock was different. It was more like an arcade fight em up beat em up type of game, and I, it, it didn't it didn't follow the, the norm of the Ratchet & Clank series, but I thought it was a good game all on its own. So tell me yours. Um, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. And just remember, even though the wolf has got a scat, Long live the wolf pack. Bye! Away from a bit of everything, but the music is therapeutic. Giving the voice of a wolf, and I'm sure going to use.